And this side mount secret is brought to you by Seacraft. Thanks so much to Seacraft for supporting this side mount secret. If you're in the market for a DPV, I've talked a lot about my use of the Seacraft Go. It is an absolute beast of a DPV and one of the very best in the market as far as I'm concerned. Listen to episode 99 with Stefan Panis, where he and I go into great detail about our use of the Go and why we think it is one of the very best DPVs in the market. Now, thanks so much to Jamie Weir in Australia for this month's side mount secret, where we're going to talk about cylinders. And the reason that this came about was Jamie was asking me questions about the use of aluminium or aluminium cylinders in salt water with a dry suit with thick undergarments. And one of the things you find when you do that is you have to wear a hell of a lot of weight. And I want to make the point right at the very beginning of this that there are probably some of you out there that are diving the wrong cylinders for the water you're diving and also the exposure protection that you are wearing. So I want to go through each of the potential cylinder types that you might find or that you might choose to use and describe the scenario where those cylinders are best suited and also where you might want to use them. Now I'll make the note and the caveat that there are some times where you have absolutely no choice, particularly if you go to the tropics for instance, or if you go to Mexico, you're pretty much only going to find aluminum 80s or aluminium 11 litres as we would call them. So let's go through a few cylinder types that I personally dive on a reasonably regular basis and explain why I might use each cylinder type. Now I'm going to start here with my trusty Faber 12 litre steel. Now 12 litre steels are amazing cylinders for side mount diving. They're reasonably heavy. Uh, out of the water they're about 18.6 kilos and in the water when you start a dive with filled with gas 200 bar they're going to be about one to two kilos negative at the start of the dive and then as you consume gas they're still going to be negative at the end of the dive but the buoyancy characteristic of that cylinder does change. It does become a little bit tail light and of course it loses its gas weight and so you need to compensate for that during the dive. Where would a 12 litre steel best be used? Well it's a great cylinder to use where you're wearing a dry suit with thick undergarments so you're quite buoyant and in particular if you're in salt water where you're going to be even more buoyant. And so this cylinder then can become part of your weighting system along with the weights that you put in your system. And I find when I'm diving these 12 litre steels with really thick undergarments for about 15 Celsius here in New Zealand in winter, I am wearing somewhere around six to eight kilos of weight. Uh, typically, yeah, in that six to eight kilos, sometimes eight, depends what else I'm carrying with me as well. Okay, so a great cylinder for that condition, thick undergarments, dry suit, and salt water. Now, if you change any of those uh, factors and let's think about for instance if you go to fresh water all of a sudden you are less buoyant and so you're going to be able to carry even less weight but if you then start to strip off undergarments and you're going to warmer water all of a sudden this beautiful cylinder that I really love this 12 litre steel might not be the best cylinder choice for you so if you're starting to look at conditions where you've got warmer water and you've got a wetsuit or a dry suit with thin undergarments all of a sudden your 11 litre or 80 cubic foot aluminium cylinder becomes a great cylinder to choose. Now let's talk about the aluminium for a little bit. Out of the water, 18.6 kilos again. So almost exactly the same weight as you would find for the, the 12 litre steel, which is a little bit surprising. In the water, however, this changes. The density of aluminium is obviously less than steel. Uh, they become very buoyant when uh, you start to consume gas from them. They're a little bit negative at the beginning of the dive, maybe half a kilo to a kilo because of the gas weight. But then as you start to consume gas during your dive, the cylinders become really buoyant and you have to be able to deal with that. And that's going to be the subject of another side mount secret is how do you rig these cylinders because that's outside the scope of what I'm going to talk about today. But certainly a great cylinder, warmer water, less undergarments or a wetsuit. And of course, if you go to fresh water, then this becomes a great cylinder, particularly if that fresh water is a little bit warmer, which uh, again, that's what you find in Mexico. That's what you're going to find in the tropics. So aluminum cylinders, great for those scenarios. One other point to make about these, because they are more buoyant than steel cylinders, one of the great things about using aluminum cylinders and why so many side mount divers love them is they're beautiful to handle in the water. So if you need to stow a hose, 
it was something like that and you need to undo your bungee to do that or if you need to move that cylinder around if you need to push it in front of you to pass a restriction etc etc then aluminium cylinders are absolutely amazing for that because they're as Misha describes them they're like his little babies they're relatively neutral maybe the maybe the bottom will come up on you a little bit but really easy to handle if you try and do that with a steel cylinder you're going to have a lot of trouble so the idea if you need to take the cylinder off through your die for whatever reason push it in front of you or if you want to be able to take it off to stow hoses and that sort of thing aluminium cylinders are great for that and it's why so many people tend to love them um, for their diving is because they are really neat great to handle in the water now I've got a couple of other cylinders there which is you might find a little interesting I've got a seven liter steel Faber 50 cubic foot and I use these for my rebreather diving uh, having said that I have open circuit uh, side mount dive them as well brilliant cylinder carries plenty of gas so 7 litres times 2 14 litres which is more than my 12 on its own when I'm side mount diving great amount of bailout for most of the dives that I'm doing not all but most and really great to handle because it's smaller and lighter about 11 kilos this cylinder so so really really nice to dive and some of you might be a little bit surprised but I've got the 40 cubic foot aluminium cylinder here an amazing stage cylinder or decompression cylinder if you need a little bit more gas but I've side mount dived them as well and for a while there I had Trimix in these cylinders so I didn't want to use them so I was actually with my rebreather with my Kiss Sidewinder was diving these aluminium 40 cubic foot cylinders side mounted and I really liked them I had to wear more weight of course and so that is a bit of an issue especially again thick undergarments colder water salt water but um, great cylinders to use so I hope that helps you out. Let's just summarize everything I've said there. If you were diving thick undergarments, dry suit, cold conditions, and salt water, you're probably going to want to dive a steel. And 12 liter Faber steels, or in the US, LP85s, are great cylinders to use for that type of diving. Uh, you'll note in Florida, a lot of the guys are using them in the caves there as well. Because of flow, again, a great cylinder for that environment. The LE80s are great if you're wearing wetsuit or thinner undergarments with a dry suit. Fantastic for that. Great buoyancy characteristics if you need to take the cylinder off at all during your dive. And then the smaller cylinders, don't dismiss those for side mount diving. They're great to side mount dive. Two of these are more than one of those. So if you've got a recreational side mount dive that you want to do, then either the LE, uh, the Steel 50s or the LE 40s, 7 litre, 5.86 litres. Uh, are great cylinders to dive and I really love the fact that I can have a recreational dive and side mount with small easy to handle cylinders that still give me all of the redundancy of side mount two independent cylinders two independent first stages and second stages and just all of the all of the benefits that side mount brings instead of diving single cylinder back mount with one of these two I think it's way way better and a lot more fun I hope you enjoyed this Thanks so much to Seacraft for sponsoring this Side Mount Secret. And again, if you've got some ideas about what you'd like to hear from us on the Side Mount Secret, please direct message me on Facebook or drop me a note in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next Side Mount Secret.